So recently I traveled to Nigeria. If you haven't seen those videos, I'd, I'd advise that you check those out. Well, I traveled to Nigeria and I used Qatar Airways to travel to Nigeria. And I must say, Qatar Airways or Qatar Airport is actually phenomenal. I've gone to Qatar a couple times as a child during our family vacations, but as an adult, I know that my my impressions or what I think of Qatar Airport has definitely changed. I'm not sure if it was the same as what it used to be when I was a child, but I'm going to tell you right now that Qatar Airways or Qatar Airport is actually one of the best. But that's not why you're here. So during the course of my trip, I took the opportunity to buy perfumes, basically leverage on the duty-free that you have and buy some perfumes. It was mostly an impulse buy and I definitely would not be advising anyone to do impulse buying or impulse purchasing of anything because we want to make sure that we're planning out all our purchases. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys those perfumes that I got, my first impressions about them. Not my first impressions because obviously I tried them out at the airport before I paid for them but it's been like a couple months i'm filming this video in march hopefully you guys get it early enough but my new impression of it almost sort of like a first impression because march till december that's kind of like four three months kind of ish so it's been a while and i'm gonna share with you guys the perfumes that i got what I think about them and why I bought those perfumes. So this is kind of like an unboxing as well. So we're going to be unboxing or unwrapping each of these perfumes and then we'll dive into talking about the perfumes, the notes and stuff like that. So first we have um, Emporio Armani, Stronger With You and this is what it looks like. And we'll unbox it right away. <laughs> okay. Oh my days, guys. Get into this packaging. Hopefully you guys are hearing me because I'll cry if I'm not getting audio. Well, this is what the package looks like. So first of the first thing I'm going to be letting you guys know about this perfume is that it is actually a masculine perfume. And if you know anything about perfumes, you know that sometimes these people really be cheating us, the female people. Like they really be cheating us because male perfumes sometimes, or for me, most almost all almost all the time, they turn out to be one of the best. Like they're just they last longer, they smell so nice, and you can spot them from a very far far or a mile away. I kind of exaggerating, but you get my point. So yeah, I love this packaging. It kind of has like if you look at the packaging, I love how the bottle or the cap looks. It has something that looks like rope-ish here. Like, it has that ropey vibe. I feel like it makes it look like, okay, yeah, yeah, hooked or you're chained, that kind of vibe. I'm not sure if that's what they were aiming for with this packaging, but off of the bat, it gives that, um, I don't know, for me, it's giving like, okay, you're going to be hooked to this one. It's giving like, this one is going to have you hooked, your chains to this person. Like, when you smell it, you're like, hmm, girl. <laughs> yeah, that's what I feel like. But yeah, let's dive into the scents. Keywords that I use to describe this perfume are charismatic, smart, and addictive. That's what it has on the website. Like I said, the cap is already giving hooked, chained, everything vibes. So I think I was right by saying that the package is actually giving hooked or chained. Like addictive, chained, all the same. See, I'm actually a smart person. In this video, I'm actually going to be spraying the perfumes on my body because yeah <laughs> mm. I love this I feel like I can send this perfume like I can tell already like the notes that I like from just the perfumes that I keep picking I kind of know the kind of notes that I like the kind of things I like in a perfume and this one to me smells very similar to like the closest perfume that I have that it smells similar to would be my um what's the name of that YSL YSL 
Eau de Parfum. That's what this one smells very similar to. And we'll get into the notes like right now. I had to do my research for this video because my last video about perfumes, I was doing more of freestyle, just giving you guys the vibe because I'm really not a perfume connoisseur. But this time around, I came prepared. I came with the with the what's the word with the facts with the research and i'm here to dish it out to you guys so the top notes for this perfume are sugar coated that sugar that's coated chestnuts cardamom i feel like i've noticed that i actually like cardamom in a lot of my perfumes like if you go back to my other perfume this is the other one that i like oh i like cardamom but i don't like it too much in the point where it's just like overpowering so we have pink peppercorn and violet leaves those are the top notes the the mid notes though the heart notes however is lavender and tender sage i don't know what that is but i think lavender will be something that actually smells like really nice and the base notes is smoky vanilla jungle essence and this smoky vanilla jungle essence is the base notes and it kind of gives this it kind of gives the perfume this sexy and sensual vibe to it yeah it's like the last the, like the way it smells when it's dried down it smells it smells sexy it smells like okay come closer let me smell what you're smelling like <laughs> yeah that's what for me that's what it feels like so and i'm sure that's what you were going for so they kind of did that um the base note doesn't really smell as much as like it doesn't really smell as similar as the ysl it's just like the top notes like when you spray it at first it smells like like the ysl one but when it dries down it smells totally different it smells like it has its own perfume on its like its own self on its own and if you ask me my like my dear like girls boys everyone can try this out it's not so like male or female -y. it's very like appropriate i love this one so much and it's be one of those perfumes that i would not be wearing too much outside because girl this one is gonna be saved for special occasions and on times when i'm trying to impress so earlier in this video, I kind of mentioned that I'm beginning to understand myself, beginning to understand the kind of perfumes that I like. And one perfume, one, one note that I actually like in perfumes is vanilla, is vanilla, which is also why I love, also, I love Ariana Grande's Cloud. And it's so funny because I'm sure you guys can see it over there. That's the perfume, Ariana Grande's Cloud. It's so vanilla-y. It has that, like, it just smells like, it smells sweet. It smells delicious. It smells like, if you want to smell sweet, if you want to smell edible, try out um, Ariana Grande's um, Cloud. It's so nice. It's like, hmm. And I feel like vanilla is something that I actually love in perfumes. And that is something that I've come to learn about myself. And I, I definitely don't think I'm wrong because it's consistent in all the perfumes that I love. Vanilla is there. So the next perfume that I got, so this one, I actually bought it on my way back to Canada. So the first one, I bought it on my way to Nigeria. On my way back, I bought another one. Um, kind of knew I was going to get, I kind of, I don't know why, I just... It's not advisable to do impulse purchases, guys. Don't do it. But I did it. But don't do it. <laughs> Plan out the things you're gonna buy, please. Especially right now. Anyway. So, um... We're unboxing. This is what it looks like outside of the wrap. And we're gonna unbox. I don't want you guys to focus on me. Do not focus on me. Focus on my hands. So first off, this perfume is floral. It contains the iris flower, Indonesian pakuli. I hope I pronounced that right. Indonesian pakuli and a garmand accord, which is the jasmine and blossom flowers. And next, you're going to go into the packaging. This perfume is floral. Packaging is pink, which already gives girly, gives, it gives, it gives like that perfume where you want to just smell girly, you want to be in your girly vibe, you want to smell feminine, and the packaging also looks like that. I love how like the bottle looks. The bottle looks very classy, especially because of the way it's kind of shaped like you get the perfume here and then you have this extra like platform or whatever 
which to me is very like nice and i can literally see my fingerprints i'm literally staining this perfume i need to clean it so it's looking as fresh as it was out of the box but anyway we're gonna try it trying it out mm. <laughs> oh my days i love it i love it so much it smells sweet it smells flowery it smells it smells amazing <laughs> Okay, we're going into the notes now. So, the notes for this perfume, the top notes are pear and black currants, or black currants. <laughs> I don't know how they pronounce that. And the heart notes, which is like the middle notes. The middle notes are pallida iris, cons pallida iris concrete, orange blossom, and jasmine Sambali and then the base notes is Heart of Pakuli Essence. This one it smells really nice. It kind of reminds me of my um if you go to my previous video where I talked about perfumes, it kind of reminds me of what's it called? My Valentino perfume, but that my Valentino perfume smells really nice. I'm not even gonna say they are the same, but that's what this one smells like. I love the base notes like I've never really had like this is my first time paying attention to notes and paying attention to notes kind of make me know okay what do I really like in perfumes the kind of notes that suits me better so that in the future or going forward I kind of know the kind of scents that I like and the kind of things that I kind of gravitate towards so this one for sure is like another top tier perfume that I love and yeah love <laughs> so guys those are the two perfumes that i bought at the qatar airport but then in the spirit of doing things that we're not supposed to be doing i bought another perfume from sephora which i'm also going to be sharing with you guys because why not right so the perfume that i got is this one the name of the perfume is replica and replica has different types this one is the by the fireplace and is replica by mason margila can't pronounce that if i'm butchering it i'm actually very sorry but yeah let's unbox this i want a small size um this one i was actually influenced which is why i don't I feel like I need to stay off social media because too much influencing is really not good. I'm not enjoying the influencing, please. <laughs> We're going to dive right into the packaging. And first of all, I want you guys to look at what the box looks like. First of all, before we dive into talking about the packaging of this perfume. Um, so yeah, that's what the box looks like. And we would... See what the actual bottle looks like. So this is the bottle. First off, I like the cap. I want you guys to see the cap. It has this very unique pump to it. It has this unique pump to it and then the pump also has this rope around it which I think is very unique. I don't know how many perfumes actually have this and the ink that they used to write the names of it like right here this like the ink is actually kind of unique it's very um different from other perfumes it gives it its own vibe and look you also ask like okay what is this about what kind of what's the perfume really about and then the name of this perfume says by the fire please and i love how on the box it has like a photo of a fire please which kind of gives you an already like it gives you an idea of what the perfume is supposed to smell like and we're actually going to get into more details on okay it does it really smell like what it says it's supposed to smell like and stuff like that and mind you, this one is actually a first impression because I haven't really tried this out. I mentioned earlier that I bought it due to the fact that I was influenced by another influencer or by an influencer. So yeah, let's try it out. Let's spray, let's press this unique pump and see what it does. 
So I sprayed it here because I sprayed here, sprayed here. So we're trying out this part of my hands now. <clears throat> Bruh. Oh my days, like it smells like wood. That's the first thing I'll tell you. It smells like wood. Yeah. It's kind of different from the kind of perfumes that I like. I'm not going to lie. And I don't know how I feel about the fact that this pump does not have a cap. It's definitely going to be staying inside the box. But yeah. Um, this perfume is not masculine or feminine. It's a unisex perfume. It's genderless, so both men and women can wear it. Even though, like, who really cares? If you like the perfume, you like the perfume. We don't really care if it's feminine or masculine, to be fair. Except if you're a guy and you're wearing a perfume that it's a lady's perfume. But do you, boo? If you like it, you like it. Like, no one cares. So, like, the other one that I showed you guys, it had the... It belongs to the floral family. This one belongs to warm and spicy. And I can already smell, like, it smells a little bit... It smells like wood, mostly. But then it has that spicy vibe to it. I think it's mixing well with the perfume that I sprayed here earlier. And I love it. It smells phenomenal. So we're moving on to the notes of the perfume. So, so the top notes of this perfume is clove, pink pepper, and orange blossom. Which is very similar to this perfume, which is actually what I put here. So it kind of makes sense why they would go together. Because they both have top notes of pink peppercorn. So it makes sense why they would go together, in my opinion. So the middle notes for this one is chestnuts, guaiac wood, and juniper. This one, Stronger With You, also has chestnuts as one of the notes in it. So are you guys seeing, like, they're kind of, they have something in common. They're not like similar, but they have stuff in common. Oh god, I love this one so much. Oh jeez, Qatar Airways, I'm not sure I'll be using people again. You can't be taking my money from me. And then, the base note for this perfume is, of course, Vanilla Peru Blasma, Peru Bla Balsma, Balsam, <laughs> Peru Balsam, and Cashmeran. So those are the notes for this perfume. I love it so much. I feel like the wood is definitely like the thing that you would get the most. It definitely has that wood vibe. I'll tell you for free. Like I can smell, I don't even know what wood smells like. But I know that whatever it is they did here is giving fire, is giving warmth, is giving spicy, is giving... I just, I can't even explain it for you guys. See, I'm getting better at this explanation thing. You guys cannot take that from me. If you go back to my former video, you know that I'm getting better, but we're still a work in progress. We'll learn how to describe perfumes better in the future, but right now I can just explain to you guys that this is giving warmth, it's giving cozy, it's giving it's giving comfort, and I think it's better or it will be best for the winter time, personal opinion, because winter is more like cold, cold vibe. But if you have a perfume that kind of gives that warmth, that cozy vibe, yeah, I think it's nice and perfect for the winter. While I was at the airport or while i was making my second purchase on my way back to canada the lady at the airport kind of gave me this face mask it's called rare earth deep pore cleansing mask and this is what it looks like i like the fact that they give you souvenirs when you buy stuff which i think is nice the first time they didn't give me anything but this time they gave me i'm not sure if it was the store because that that airport is basically a mall. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. There are just different stores up and down. And sometimes, at the point, I kind of didn't even remember where the former place that I went, like when I was coming to, when I was traveling to Nigeria, I didn't even know where the store that I went to before was. And I just kind of got lost. I just said, oh well, like everywhere is a mall. You can literally see everywhere. Just let's, just let's just be walking around and be exploring what this hotel, I mean, this airport has for us. And yeah, they gave me something I think is nice and I thought to share. Maybe if you travel and you buy something, they might give you a souvenir. Like, <laughs> who knows? I don't know if that's something that they do all the time. But I like Maybe. it. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, like, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment on if you've tried any of these perfumes and what you actually thought about them when you tried them. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, don't forget to check out this video here, which is my other perfume haul. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.